I've seen today and across the past week calls for our borders to be opened to the world, a world where the virus is escalating, not slowing, and not even peaking in some countries yet, where cases exceed 10 million uh, globally and deaths half a million, where countries are extending and returning to lockdown. All the while, we get to enjoy weekend sport, go to restaurants and bars, our workplaces are open and we can gather in whatever numbers we like. While the EU is looking to open its doors to a handful of countries, including our own, I'm reminded that New Zealanders returning from trips offshore were part of the spread of the virus in New Zealand in the first place. There is a time in the future where we will be opening our borders, but to suggest that time is now when the virus is getting worse is frankly dangerous. We have outlined very clearly that our goal, of course, is to focus on the opportunity that may exist with the Pacific and Australia at a time that's safe to do so. Um, but I think you'll find that COVID-19 doesn't consult with anyone. We are having to work with a virus that globally is growing and make decisions based on what we are seeing around us. Potentially open up to Australia on a state-by-state -state basis. Oh, uh, you will have heard me say that that... Um, that is entirely possible, but again comes down to really the will of Australia. Uh, they at the moment have some states that have border controls and COVID-free status, but equally um, there are some states that are open and do not. Uh, we've set criteria that says basically we have to be assured that it would be safe uh, and we want that criteria to be met before we, um, before we have any trans-Tasman bubble. So it will come down to Australia. Do you deal with the state, though, or does it need to have sign-off from the Prime Minister? I've been, I've been dealing um, with this at a federal level via Prime Minister Morrison.